almost till the last part of the day, it felt like it really was a boring day. But just before the daily close, price started doing something interesting. Now, we're watching a lot of different assets doing this in the market, some of them popping 100% and all. But what exactly is XRP doing? If you break it down from a microstructure to a medium term to a long term charge, what do you actually see here? The price action shows you something really interesting. And we've been following that through and we understood that, okay, this is what we are observing right now. So the price action did show us that these possibilities were already there. We compared it and said that a little while back. And right now you're watching, that's the reality. Now, what next? What do you see while you look at this chart? What is the price action saying that, okay, what's the highest odds of next reality? Right now, that's the past. We're looking at the present and trying to look at the future and ask that question like, okay, what are we really looking into? So that's where we are coming in. And it kind of shows like, okay, there is an interesting play happening here. The RSI on a monthly is right now at 52.75. That is actually great. Because usually when you go above 53, that is an interesting range for XRP precisely. Historically speaking, whenever you go above that level, price action goes bullish. You are in a bull market whenever you do that. Right now, you're trying to break that to the upside. What do you think is going to come in next week, next month, to next three, four months? Welcome to the Scientific Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. Right now, say when you actually look at the Bitcoin, you can actually put the argument there saying, okay, this is actually interesting. The price action is showing you something really positive. So if you do look at it and you ask that question to yourself and you're like, okay, what am I really watching here? Because Bitcoin does look at the market and say, okay, I'm going to guide this market. So if you look at this, we had something like this, a consolidation in between, and then you bursted higher. And as soon as you bursted higher, you actually didn't continue directly to the upside. Rather, you actually had a slow pullback and then the next leg to the upside. Now, that leg did not actually get enough continuation. We came back down, we saw that. But right now, on a same horizon, a short term chart, we're watching like, okay, this is the price. We were really slow. This end was a little bit of volatility, but not much. Right now, we broke this to the upside. We are trying to retest this. So if you do see a bounce from here, which breaks this level, I would say, okay, let's be optimistic there. Let's be optimistic. Now, put that into perspective. You have to jump onto a higher time frame structure. Say so you go onto a four hour chart, then onto a daily. What do you actually see here? You do have a possibility of something happening like this. So next time, if we do see this breaking higher, that becomes a major move on a daily chart. Because the RSI, if it bounces back above this moving average, that is going to be something interesting. It will act as a rising channel there. It can literally do that. Now, we have seen something similar in the past where the price action actually does this and give you a short term dip, a surprise, and then go back up, then do a wipe off before it continue back higher. Now, based on these percents, we can actually say, like, okay, these does show you there is a big possibility. Now, take that in and look at the entire market, say, just uh, all coins excluding. Ether. We're watching like, okay, this is happening. We are breaking this to the upside. We are getting a daily close as a confirmation. Now, in next 24 hours, we'll get a weekly candle closing on this range, which I think is going to be super important because when you put that on a weekly chart, this is what it looks like. So for me, I think that is a super bullish thing to observe. Now, look at the other side. The strength is here. What does that mean? On a weekly, the strength is already here. Last time you were here, the price was way close 
to the all-time highs or playing in that all-time highs region. So that's really interesting to watch. Each time you go back to those strength levels, price was in this territory. That was really great to understand. So for me, my thought process is we are super bullish. We're still bullish. We're going higher, but don't go against the market. If the market is trending higher, don't try going against it. It will not end up positively. Historically, whenever we do this, we see some really good continuation pattern in the market. Now, jumping on to the XRP side of things, we want to actually break XRP into that area where we all understand what we're expecting in the near future. So while we actually use our daily chart to talk about XRP, we do actually see a possible movement like this. We do have the one, the two, and the three on a micro. But look at the RSI. The RSI is still moving to the upside. We don't have a divergence yet. Now, on a short-term chart, you do, but not on a daily and a higher time frame. So you zoom out again. You go into a three-day chart, and three-day chart shows you we have some more room to reach that overbought territory. I can still do something. Okay, great. We're like, okay, we believe you. You just put in a double bottom. You broke back higher. That level has been a critical level for XRP for some time, quite some time. And now you're breaking that back to the upside. So we're like, okay, let's zoom a little bit out, get the right perspective. When we were making these candles as highlighted here, I was like, okay, watch this, guys. There is something happening in the market. This should be the reversal. We should be going back up. Now, yes, not everyone agrees. The problem there is, like when we show that, and this was a while back, like, you know, I was saying, okay, watch this, guys. The weekly is closing here, and that is confirming something, right? And that's where I was uh, kind of giving the uh, idea into uh, the XRP family, like the SI family here saying, like, okay, guys, watch this. I think if we do this, there is a possible movement coming to the upside. Now, when you break that down to understand what exactly is happening, we were looking at the MACD, the RSI, and the price. Saying, okay, there is a real chance of a double bottom pattern happening here. What are we watching? The engulfing candle and the double bottom, both of them played out. So that's the power of visualizing. Now, if you're right, that's the power of visualizing. Now, we are watching a lot of our calls are on the right side. Now, we already talked about this possibility, saying we need to break back above the moving average in the RSI terms and the trend line. So right now on a macro, you do see we came back up. That shows the strength of XRP. Because this weekly candle, you still have some time to close. And as of now, it is still running higher compared to last two candles. This is where you need to be serious. Compared to last two candles, we are bigger. The momentum is increasing to the upside, which is much better. And you have a lot of room to run to the upside. So you do watch this asset as one of the serious asset in terms of fundamentals and now becoming at that range where the price is saying, okay, guys, watch this. I made a top, mm -hmm. I dropped, I retraced, I went into a consolidation, I did all this crazy stuff and then popped. Great. Now, are we doing the same? We put in a high, we went down, we retraced and now doing all this crazy thing, can we pop? If we do, then keep in mind, it won't just be a huge line like this to the upside. When you actually zoom into this territory, keep this in mind, when you zoom into that territory, you will actually watch some decent volatility. That's on the line chart. So when you actually go out, you'll actually watch this. You go up 10x, you come back down 50, 60%. Then you go up 10, 15 X again, and then do another 50, 60% down. So the market will remain volatile. It won't easily give you that profit saying, okay, here it is, take it. That won't happen. That will never happen because this is a market where the whales, the financial institutions, they dominate this market. They want to make sure they control this market. So on that note, when you actually come on to the live XRP, say let's zoom in on a four hour chart and see, what are we really watching? Because we want to actually see if the price action is giving you some ideas, right? And this has been the recent local high. And you're kind of trading something like this. So if we do break this to the upside, that's a positive thing to watch. We would like to see this breaking to the upside. Now, if it breaks to the downside, that means here you are, you're coming back down to watch this range. Now, 
For us, in next 24 hours, do we think this is going to happen? Uh, we really don't know. So if you do get a weekly candle close inside this range, that shows a highly increasing bullish momentum in this asset. Not only in this asset, the entire asset class. That's why I was really highlighting. Watch this. Some of them are already doing a 100% move. We posted this win October 13th. And by the time, it's already 100%. We are above that. And when you actually go into the market, you do see a lot of these other assets doing that. Say, if you actually look at EGLD, it's 25% up for the day. We had the call before. I'll show you before this video ends. And look at others who are already running up. Now, that's in the top 100 we're talking about the large cap coins. And as you slowly move into the small caps, you're watching the ARC is 200% off. Sushi, it's already popping. Like You have a lot of different coins slowly starting to gain pace. One thing which we all need to understand is people will take profit. When it's 100% up, 200, 300% up, they'll take profit and they won't actually directly go out of the market. Because the market is trending higher, they'll try to take benefit of that. They'll choose another couple of assets and put that money into that asset which means now you'll see another asset group going up so initially if you put two assets money in two assets they popped you got money out now you're buying three or four assets so the number of assets popping will increase in next two three four five weeks from here because people would be taking profits from one and slowly entering into another see we were doing the same right we started trading one or two assets. Right now, where are we? Around 12 or 13 trades because the profit is slowly increasing. You want to make sure you allocate them into assets which haven't actually popped like that, which gives you the advantage of taking profits as soon as they pop. So if you're actually looking to get all those calls on the right time, follow these 575 members and get those calls for you. You can actually use this link, Patreon. The link is given in the description below. If you're watching this video in YouTube, if it's in Twitter, look at the bio. You get that. Now guys, if you actually receive value, smash that like button for me. That supports the channel and the growth of the channel a lot. And I appreciate that. Now, before we actually end the video, I would actually like to reiterate something. When you're in the market and you're watching all these coins are popping, make sure you don't jump into something where the volume is like this. You want to get in, you want to see your portfolio grow, great, but you also want to make sure you do take the profits out. Even if it's something where there is a lot of volume, good. But what if the exchange in which you are trading, there is no volume? Say if the volume is too small in that exchange, now you'll have to send that from one exchange to another to take profit. And if that's an ERC-20, oh God. The transaction itself is a pain. One. Two. If it's a levered trade, you're done. I mean, seriously, there is no way you can actually move a levered trade. You'll have to do that into a spot and then move it. But it doesn't make a lot of sense. So understand you should have an exit strategy before you enter into an asset in your exchange. Make sure you understand these are the key elements as the market go up and at the same time you'll have a lot of scammers coming into the market they're already here but the number of scammers will increase as they see the market is going up and you me and others are making money they want a chunk of it they do you'll see a lot of scammers coming in the comment section don't even try responding to them you know if they put in a link a name an id don't even try following them these guys are there for one reason you want to make sure your hard-earned money and the profits which you waited for so long is yours you want to seize that opportunity not to distribute that to someone else who doesn't deserve that so by that note i'll meet you guys on the next video bye for now